Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. This is your Excel Guru. Today with a new feature of uh, Excel called Bar Charts. Yes, this is part two of my series on charts. The earlier chart I have taught was a column chart. Today I will be taking you through how to make a bar chart in Excel. Alright, and we'll begin with the same example that we used in the last uh, last video for column charts. We'll take the examples of LCD sales for these months, January to December, and target was 100 sales per month, and this was the uh, this was the achieved target. And if you want to represent this in form of a bar chart, how would we do that? We will find a place where we need to place our chart. Then we would go to click on Insert, and then we'll choose the bar chart over here. See bar charts are the best chart type for comparing multiple values so I click over here I this gives me different examples 2d 3d cylinder cone pyramid so I'll choose 2d first I'll tell you how to make it into convert it into 3d now once this comes over here now this is the area of the chart which we'll be able to adjust later then we right click on it we have to select the data alright so we go over here and select our data and once you select our data all we need to do is press enter and voila that there's your chart there's your chart see Excel is pretty intelligent on these aspects now this is basic stuff basic stuff there is one thing I would like all of you should do with your charts is very basic form of analysis wherein Excel comes in for a great help is once you made your chart basic chart go to the layout tab go to the trend line and use this linear trend line it adds sets a linear trend line for the selected chart series so it once you click over there it'll, it'll tell you for which aspect of a chart would you like to have the trend line the target or the achieved so I would choose achieved and I'll click OK so it will tell you in which direction your business is going see this is the overall trend that you get whether the business is improving or not so it certainly says see the business is improving it's going on the right hand side side and the right hand side has more numbers so this is how to create a basic chart now I'll get down to how to format it into beautiful play things uh, beautiful colors and all so we need to go to design select your chart go to design use this thing and this will give you the exact colors the kind of fonts you want to have over here the best one is these 3d types click over here and this is your 3d graph alright cool and then you go to layout now layout will help you in your chart title I'm sure people would like to have a chart title so you can use this to have a chart title overhead or above chart so we'll choose above chart and you can type it LCD that's what you want to type L C D press enter and you got your LCD over here and then we'll click again on my chart and then this was chart title access title you can give them these titles access title see primary titles if I show it none so there are no titles if you want we can bring titles over here the legends are these are called legends as of now we are showing them on the right hand side achieve target linear we can show them on top see they move to top we can take them to left, bottom. Uh, I believe the on the right hand side is okay. I to kind of don't prefer the having these at all. And then comes data labels. Very important. Data label would show you values corresponding to these the length of these lines. Say best to have center. So you'll see the data over here. You can have the data in the inside and just but just close to the end of the uh, of the bar or you can have them inside base outside end see isn't it easy to work and then you can have your data labels you can show your data label below this is your complete data label which is getting reflected over here Th it's not a very very nice way to reflect data not a very nice way to reflect data so we'll change it back to that and sorry we did we can have none all right and then these are access whether you want to show your access line details or not 
grid lines again this back stuff that you see lines do you want to show them show major show minor grid lines and now important thing a lot of people ask me this uh, if there is some data that we would like to paste this graph now from Excel to say Word or to another Excel file or to a PPT there's a common thing to do that right click on it sorry click on it do a control C and then open up a new file let it be any kind of file and then do a control V now as soon as you do a control V uh, usually if the file is of a different format the coloring would automatically change this happens very commonly with PPTs so what you need to do is this small clipboard design that you see click over here on the drop down paste options click on keep source formatting and the formatting would be the same this is how you will be able to get the data for you alright and now this file that you're looking at this Excel file is available for free download on my website excelmadeeasy.weebly.com yes this is my website you just need to go to the training files and download the file from there so that you can follow along practice along or just give it for your reference the video that you're looking at is on my YouTube channel just click on the subscribe link and whenever there is a new update uh, YouTube would inform you that a new video has been added by me all you need to do is subscribe sign in or sign up on my website I have my social networking links do follow me on Twitter and do like me on Facebook I'm running a campaign I would like to make Excel made easy page on Facebook as the point where people come and ask questions and post answers so come come to Facebook uh, come to Excel made easy on Facebook and like us over here and then become a part of Excel made easy share your knowledge with us so this is your Excel guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy Excel learning